Am I an artist? Are you an artist? What makes an artist an artist? If you just call yourself an artist, are you an artist? If you doodle stick men, are you still an artist? Some would say yes. Some may not. Sup? Wah. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. Don't know if I'm in full energy mode or not. Am I? I've had a long day. Um. Greetings, fellow traveller, and welcome to another video. Sit down, put your feet up, rest a while. You all are welcome here by this here little campfire. This little digital campfire that is your computer screen slash phone screen. Um, we're all just travellers of the cyberspace. We all come from different places, different parts of the world, but here we are. I hope you're enjoying your daily dose of cyberspace browsing. And I appreciate you clicking on this video. I genuinely do. Hey, so last video was pretty good, wasn't it? I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. I know I was the one who made it, but I'm just saying it. It was a pretty good video, wasn't it? It was a good image. It was a commission, which means I got money for that. It was a good long video. I had lots, lots of things on my mind. I rambled on. I feel like I reached peak Poncho Pilgrim content. It's only downhill. It's only downhill from here. Have I peaked? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Have you seen that hashtag? Draw this in your style, where artists post an image, uh, illustration or whatever, and they invite everyone and anyone to draw this in their style. To go alongside this, stop the presses, stop stop the video, cut the video. Don't pay it. Why are you watching me? I, I do nothing for you. <laughs> um... Yeah, why are you watching me when you could be going on to Waterstones or Amazon or some other bookshop site and ordering The Green Giant by Katie Cottle? The Green Giant by Katie Cottle. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be in, in America, you could be in Germany, you could be in Korea. You can get this book in your language. Isn't that sick? It's been translated into German, Korean, and I guess American as well, technically, because they changed things like from holiday to vacation, which I thought was interesting. So yeah, you're sitting here watching this video of me doing some fan art, essentially. Um, fan art of three artists. One is is my girlfriend, Katie. Green Giant, go buy it if, you, if you've got kids if you've got younger siblings, if you know someone who's got kids ages three to six, three to seven, go get the Green Giant. It will be well good and you'll love reading it if you're a child. You will love reading it if you're not. We've got loads of kids books down there in our little bookshelf. Kids books are great for illustration and art. So I thought I'd do some Green Giant fan art because it's cool and I'm proud of her. That's about it. Ah, <laughs> It's a kids book about a girl who goes to the country out of the city and then finds a magical greenhouse and there's a giant living inside and then the giant gives spoilers Ch spoilers, the giant gives her some magic seeds and then she grows loads of plants in the city and turns the city all green. Whoa. And then so I had an idea of having like, this would be the last image, so like maybe after the events of the book. Here's him laying down on top of a, a plant covered skyscraper building block of flats. The other artists that I wanted to do fan art of and what this video is about um, are two people I follow on Instagram who I just freaking enjoy their art and I seem to, I just like every single thing they post. It's Victor Mosquera, Mosquera and Ramon. I just know him as Ramon. Let me, let me look him up. Uh, Ramon Nunez, am I saying that right? They're just really awesome artists. Victor Mosquera is very like Mobius-y. For his draw, draw this in 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 his in your style. I had an idea. It's like of a weird floating man with weird abstract shapes. It's very abstract and trippy, his stuff. But yeah, normally it's like very fine lines and like bright colours. But I thought I'd do some pixel art. And then I was like, oh boy, this definitely suits 
doing animating and working on a five minute animation, pixel art animation. And what do I do? I choose to do make a gif. And then uh, Ramon's piece was of a re he's got an amazing sketchy character style. It's like incredible. His colors and lighting and the just like the way that he sketches uh, with his um, like line work is incredible. I'm incredibly envious and I sort of did some fan art of his one um, that I'm not, I'm less pleased with the last one. I'm less pleased with the third one. Um, it was just all done digitally. Yeah, I don't know. Artists, eh? What are we like? Never happy with our own creations. <laughs> it is how it is. Um, you just need to keep practicing, keep going. They're my words of wisdom. I've been drawing pretty much like solidly since I was like 14. So I'm like 24 now. That's like 10 years. Um, and I'm only this good. Sometimes you go, you sign into Instagram and you see these like 18 year old artists who seem to just be absolute prodigies. And you just think, shit, they've just got the secret. They've got the knack. But yeah, forget about that. I don't really like ascribing this whole, you know, the classic, I feel like no one's having it anymore. But like that classic old, um, like skill versus talent. And people being like, oh, you're just talented. Like you were born with the skill. And then everyone's getting really annoyed at people who say that. And I, I get it. I 100% get it because it's just time. But yeah, I think that that debate of like people being born with like innate skill and or versus practicing really hard. It's a bit, bit much, isn't it? Well, look at me go. Poncho Pilgrim hot takes. Hot art takes. That's kind of everything I wanted to say. So sorry that it's kind of a short video, I guess. R rest assured, I'm working hard on this animation. I had two days off from my part-time job, and I spent those two days doing a lot of animation. I was sort of just sitting at my desk animating. Um, yesterday, I decided, you know what? I should take a breather, should get some fresh air, do some exercise. So I got my basketball, and I went over to the park and I just played basketball by myself for an hour and now my muscles are in pain. It's like they're burning because I don't do any exercise. But apart from that, I'm fine. And if anything, that just, it just proved that I needed to do more exercise. But yeah, I really like basketball. I used to play as a kid a lot, and now I don't play anymore, but I still love it. It's like my the only sport that I actually kind of like, I like the idea of playing it. I should have prepared a little bit more um, and got an image of mine that I want you to draw in your style, um, but I haven't. So I'm thinking maybe maybe I'll get something ready for like next next week or the week after rather, next video. Yeah, I've got a couple ideas of videos that I could do. Um, I'm thinking maybe next week I might do another like progress video. Um, maybe not. I really appreciate you following me. I, I just want to say that. Like, I, un I fully understand and am aware how sort of un-internet-y I am. Sometimes I go on Twitter and I want to tweet something and I'm just like, if I don't shove in a bunch of y'alls and do you ever get a little bit tired by sort of just like the general Twitter slash internet language? And I get it, it's fun to be a part of something, but sometimes I worry that we're just losing our way. But that's when you come to me, the Poncho Pilgrim, and I will be your guide, I will be your travelling companion, and we will venture to distant lands, different... <laughs> Oh, I lost that sentence. The words got away from me. Thanks. Thank you. Be on your way now, traveler. Be on your way. Come back soon. I'll have some tasty drawings for you next time. Tasty drawings and hot takes. <laughs>